Hi, my name is Joyce Graves. I'm a nurse diabetes educator with ThetaCare. And my topic today with this video is how to drop insulin using an insulin pen device. Oftentimes, insulin injection is necessary as a part in the management of diabetes. The insulin that is injected is a synthetic hormone that either substitutes or supplements the insulin that your pancreas is unable to make in order to control your blood sugar levels. There are different types of insulin. Uh, there's a long-acting insulin that lasts for about 24 hours in your system. There are short or fast-acting insulins that uh, more are taken in relationship to meals. And then there are combination insulins that have both types mixed together. Some insulins are clear, others might be cloudy. And an important step that you need to know prior to giving your injection is that the cloudy insulin needs to be mixed so that you get an even concentration of the medication. It is also important for you to know what type of insulin you, you are on, what the dose is, and also when and how many times a day to take that insulin. As far as storage of your insulin, your unopened insulin should be stored in a refrigerator. But once you open your insulin, it can be kept at room temperature, but check with your instructions because various types of insulin expire after a certain period of time once they are open. So to prepare for your injection, first of all, you wanna make sure that your hands are clean. So wash your hands first, then get your supplies ready. And the supplies that you will need will be your insulin pen, an alcohol swab or rubbing alcohol with a cotton ball can work as well. And then you'll need a new needle for each injection. If you're using a cloudy insulin, meaning that you know it's cloudy in this reservoir of the insulin pen, you definitely want to make sure that it is mixed well. So usually a good way to mix it is to roll it Oh, you know, maybe 10 to 12 times between the palm of your hands, or, you know, mix it like this, uh, again, to make sure that that cloudy suspension is, is evenly mixed. Then your next step is to take your alcohol swab and wipe off this little rubber stopper that's on the end of your uh, pen. Once you've wiped that off, then you take your needle new needle and pull off this tab, push that straight on first, and then you need to tighten it pretty snugly. Then you'll take off the outer cap, and also there's an inner cap. Make sure that you take off both caps to expose the needle. Now the next step is very important, which is called a safety test or an air shot, which basically gets rid of any air that might be in the cartridge, as well as uh, getting air out of the new insulin needle that you put on the end. So to do that safety test or air shot, you have a, a dose indicator here on the one end of your pen. You need to dial that up to two. Line it up with the marker that's on the pen. And then holding it straight up, you'll wanna check your cartridge to see if there's any air bubbles that are caught in there. And usually to get rid of them, you, you know, just flick it a few times like so, or you can hit it solidly against a, a, a table or a counter. Once you're assured that the, 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 the air bubbles have gone up to the top, then by pushing in on this bottom button, you're gonna get rid of any air and also you'll see a few drops of insulin that come out. Now then you wanna check your dose indicator to make sure that that has gone back to zero. And now you're ready to, to dial up the dose of insulin that you are to take. We're gonna practice with 15 units. Now you'll have to again, check with your doctor on how much you are to start with. And also know that in a cartridge, usually there's about 300 units in there so it can be used over and over until it's empty. 
So we're going to dial this up to 15. And then you're ready to give your injection. To give the injection, there's different sites that are recommended. And probably the best absorbed site is in the abdomen. And I'm going to use this as a demonstration. Uh, it's pretty much free reign as to where you inject the insulin in the abdominal area. But is it, it is important to stay at least a fist away from your belly button or your navel, and also about one and a half to two inches away from any scars. It also is important that you rotate within that area so that you're not poking the same place all the time. So you take your pen and you can choose to pinch up a fold of skin if you uh, want or just stick the needle straight in and then push the button on the back of the pen. Make sure that the dose indicator has gone back to zero and then wait at least 10 seconds before you pull the needle out because you want that insulin to absorb into your body and it's less likely to seep out when you remove the needle. So then you'll remove the needle. If you do have some bleeding or some seepage, just apply a little light pressure to that area. Don't rub it too vigorously because that causes that insulin to absorb faster than what it's meant to. Now once you're done with that injection, you're going to want to dispose of this needle, take it off your pen, and place it in a properly uh, marked sharps container. And to take the pen off, or the needle off, don't bother with putting this small little inner cover on. Take the outer cover that came with the pen needle, place it on and unscrew it, and pull it off. This is what needs to go into a specially marked Sharps container. And you can purchase these at most local pharmacies or drug stores. But also you can make your own using a heavy plastic uh, detergent bottle or bleach bottle with a screw cap. Label it with Sharps and then place that Sharp into the container. And then there are certain Sharps disposal stations that you can take that to once it's filled. So this concludes the steps of how to set up and give a, an injection using a pen device. If you have any additional questions for a diabetes educator or more information about how to manage the disease, please contact one of us. We'd be more than happy to help you.